When opening a fruit shop for the day, a shopkeeper found a stock of apples could be perfectly arranged in a complete triangular array. That is, every row with one more, with one apple more than the row immediately above, going all the way, ending with a single apple at the top. Or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one. We had one more row. That'll have one, two, three, four, five, and so on. During any sales transaction, apples are always picked from the uppermost row, going below only when the row is exhausted. So they pick this, then this, then this. If you pick from here, the whole thing will fall down. That much is obvious. A customer walked in the middle of the day. She found an incomplete array in display, having 126 apples totally. How many rows of apples were there? The total number of apples. This is the nth row. You're doing one plus two plus three plus four plus five all the way till n. Or total apples at the beginning of the day is n into n plus one by two. Somewhere a customer walks in. There's only one twenty-six remaining, or we had more than one twenty-six to begin with. And so, ten into eleven by two. I'm just finding an arbitrary number. That is fifty-five. That's a lot, but that's way lesser than one twenty-six. Let's do. 15 into 16 by 2. 15 into 8, 120. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 16 different apples. Right, so, the 16 rows will have 16 into 17 by 2. Total number of apples is 17 into 8, 136. So we should have started with 136 apples or more. There are 17 rows. There have been 136. Sorry, 16 rows. There have been 136. 17 rows. There are 16 rows to begin with. We are at 136. There are 17 rows to begin with. We have been at 153. This plus 17. So we could not have had 17 or more. We had 16 rows, and then one row. Huh, When one customer walked in the middle of the day, she found an incomplete array in display. Out of the 136 rows, 16 rows give us 136, and then she's finding an incomplete row. Therefore, she's able to see only 126 totally. So, how many rows of apples have been taken on? So, totally there could have been 136, of which one the first row would have been removed. Two in the second row have been removed. Three in the fourth row have been removed. Four in the fifth one. This takes away ten, leaving one twenty-six. Brilliant. How many rows of apples, complete or incomplete? A total of sixteen rows would have been there to start with. Sixteen into seventeen by two is one thirty-six. The first four rows disappear. So there have been twelve rows. Or effectively, what we are doing: one, two, three, all the way till. Sixteen, one, two, three, all the way, fifteen, all the way up till one, two, three, four, five. These are there from five to sixteen. Twelve rows of apples, adding up to five plus sixteen by two into twelve. Twenty-one into six, one twenty-six apples are there. This is like an AP. The first term plus last term by two into number of terms. That is one twenty-six. Or there are twelve rows of apples that we are looking at.